Ever wondered why your dog behaves in strange ways? You know, those quirky little habits that make you go, what on earth is my dog doing? Well, you're not alone. I'm Kim Nguyen, and I've enlisted the help of the one and only Cesar Milan, the dog whisperer himself, to decode those strange dog behaviors. Get ready to dive deep into the canine mind and discover the hidden meaning behind those head tilts, tail chases, and everything in between. You see your dog turning in circles before settling down for a nap, and you might think, is my dog doing a dance? Well, it's not about choreography, it's about instinct. Dogs are hardwired for survival, and that instinct goes way back to their wild ancestors. Imagine those wild dogs living out in the open. They didn't have the luxury of fluffy beds and cozy blankets. They had to create their own safe haven, and that meant trampling down grass and foliage to make a comfortable bed and, more importantly, to check for any hidden dangers lurking in the undergrowth. This behavior was crucial for their survival. This circling behavior is a holdover from those ancient instincts. Even though your dog is domesticated and might be surrounded by soft pillows, that primal part of their brain still tells them to check for danger and make a comfy nest. It's fascinating to see how these behaviors have been passed down through generations, so the next time you see your dog doing the bedtime spin, remember that they are tapping into their ancient survival skills. It's a small but significant reminder of their wild heritage. These instincts are deeply embedded in their DNA. While it might seem unnecessary in the safety of your home, it's a behavior that has stood the test of time. Smile knowing that those ancient instincts are still alive and well, connecting your pet to their wild ancestors. It's a beautiful blend of the past and present, showing just how resilient and adaptive dogs truly are. Let's face it, we've all been there, caught in an awkward social situation where sniffing behinds is definitely frowned upon. But in the canine world, it's not rude. It's essential. Dogs have an incredible sense of smell, way more powerful than ours, and they use it to gather information about the world around them. Think of it as their version of a friendly hello. When dogs sniff each other's behinds, they're tapping into a goldmine of information. They can tell if another dog is male or female, young or old, healthy or not, and even their emotional state. It's like a quick download of a dog's social media profile. So, while we might rely on small talk and social media updates, Dogs get the inside scoop through a well-placed sniff. It's their way of staying connected and informed in their own unique way. Have you ever noticed your dog kicking up a mini earthquake after doing their business? It might seem like a strange victory dance, but it's all about communication. You see, dogs have scent glands in their paws, and that backward scratching isn't just to cover up their mess. It's like leaving a message for any passing canines. It's their way of saying, hey, I was here, this is my turf. It's all about marking territory and leaving their own unique scent signature. It's like a dog's version of graffiti, but instead of spray paint, they use their own special brand of eau de paw fume. So the next time you're out on a walk and your dog starts digging after doing their business, remember, they're just leaving their mark on the world. It's a classic sight, a dog spinning in circles, chasing its tail with an intensity that would make a seasoned ballerina dizzy. This amusing behavior can captivate anyone watching, but have you ever wondered why dogs do this? But what's the motivation behind this seemingly endless pursuit? Is it just a quirky habit or is there more to it? Well, for puppies, it's often just a case of pure unadulterated fun. These little fur balls are full of energy and curiosity. They're discovering their bodies and that tail wagging away back there is just too tempting to resist. It's a new and exciting part of themselves that they can't help but explore. It's like their own built-in toy. They can entertain themselves for hours, spinning and pouncing on their elusive tails. However, if an adult dog suddenly develops a fascination with its tail, it's worth paying attention. This behavior can be more than just playful antics. It could be a sign of boredom, stress, or even an underlying medical condition. Dogs, like humans, have emotional and physical needs that must be met. Just like us, dogs can get bored if they don't have enough mental and physical stimulation. Without proper engagement, they might resort to tail chasing as a way to pass the time. Imagine being stuck at home with nothing to do all day. You might start chasing your tail too. This repetitive behavior can be a cry for help or a way to cope with their environment. So, make sure your furry friend gets plenty of exercise, playtime, and mental challenges to keep them happy, balanced, and tail chasing free. Regular walks, interactive toys, and social interactions can make a world of difference in their well-being. A happy dog is a healthy dog, and with the right care, you can ensure your pet stays joyful and engaged, leaving tail chasing as a rare and playful memory. There's something undeniably endearing about a dog tilting its head to the side, especially when you're talking to them. It's like they're trying to understand every word, and in a way, they are. 
Dogs might not understand every word we say, but they're masters of reading our body language and tone of voice. That head tilt is their way of adjusting their ear position to better pick up on the subtle nuances in our voices. Think about it. Our ears are positioned on the sides of our heads, giving us stereo hearing. Dogs have mobile ears, and that head tilt allows them to pinpoint the source of a sound and interpret our tone more accurately. So when your dog tilts their head, they're not just striking a cute pose, they're fine-tuning their senses to better understand you. The sound of a dog howling can send shivers down your spine, especially in the dead of night. It's a sound that connects domesticated dogs to their wild ancestors, a sound that echoes through the ages. For wolves, howling is a vital form of communication, used to assemble the pack, warn of danger, and defend their territory. While our domesticated dogs might not need to rally the pack for a hunt, the instinct to howl is still deeply ingrained in their DNA. Dogs howl for a variety of reasons, some more obvious than others. They might howl in response to high-pitched sounds like sirens or musical instruments, almost as if they're joining in the chorus. They might howl to get attention, especially if they're feeling lonely or bored. And sometimes, they howl for no apparent reason at all, just to express themselves and release pent-up energy. You're out for a walk, and suddenly, your dog transforms into a four-legged lawnmower, munching on grass with gusto. Before you panic, rest assured that grazing on grass is a common dog behavior, and in most cases, it's nothing to worry about. Just like humans might crave a salad, dogs sometimes crave a bit of greenery in their diet. Grass contains fiber, which can aid in digestion and even help with an upset stomach. However, if your dog suddenly develops a voracious appetite for grass, or if they're eating grass and then vomiting, it's best to consult with your veterinarian. It could be a sign of an underlying medical condition, and it's always better to err on the side of caution when it comes to your furry friend's health. Have you ever noticed your dog staring at you with those big, soulful eyes? It's a look that can be both endearing and puzzling. It's enough to melt the coldest heart, and it's a testament to the deep bond that exists between humans and dogs. This connection is something truly special, a relationship that has been nurtured over millennia. Dogs have been our companions for thousands of years, and over time, they've evolved to become incredibly attuned to our emotions and behavior. This evolution has made them experts at reading our facial expressions and body language. When your dog stares at you, they're not just looking for their next treat, they're engaging in a complex form of communication. This stare can mean many things, from seeking attention to expressing their needs, or even just showing affection. Dogs have learned that staring at their humans is a surefire way to get our attention. This behavior is often reinforced by our responses, whether we realize it or not. They know that when we make eye contact, we're more likely to interact with them, whether it's with a scratch behind the ears, a game of fetch, or a tasty treat. This eye contact is a powerful tool in their communication arsenal. So, the next time your dog fixes you with their loving gaze, take a moment to appreciate the depth of that connection. It's a silent conversation, a way for them to say, I trust you, or I need you. It's a bond built on trust, loyalty, and unconditional love. This gaze is a window into their soul, reflecting the unique relationship you share. So cherish these moments, for they are a reminder of the incredible bond between you and your furry friend. So there you have it, a glimpse into the fascinating world of dog behavior. As Cesar Milan has shown us, those seemingly strange behaviors are anything but random. They're windows into the canine mind, revealing their instincts, emotions, and deep-rooted connection to us. By learning to recognize and understand these behaviors, we can strengthen our bond with our dogs and provide them with the best possible care. Pay attention to their body language, their vocalizations, and their unique quirks. Each tail wag, head tilt, and playful bark is a message waiting to be decoded. Subscribe for more pet behavior insights.